General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now. Oh, the salad! Dan's mad big, and we like mad small. That don't make any sense. Like it, like. Let's get into it. So. Go back here. Nothing there. Okay, over here. So, what I've been up to on uh, Elden Ring, uh, I hate doing that. You know me like to like record while I'm playing, but I've been playing the hell out of this game so much that I've done so much in this game for my own. So, me beating with that. Uh, actually, it took me to the rest of the day and I've actually beat this guy. Uh, yes, I did beat this guy. I did not have to beat my last one. But uh, I did the beat with my last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not worth it. He got one shot at me back in the second phase. So the first phase is always like it's simple to get out of. Uh, but that damn. That damn second phase is uh, a that move there, that one shot. Jesus, combo. I don't know how I'm gonna die there. Uh, I should have died. <laughs> like this shit. I'm like, oh god, I need some teammates. Now this second phase is ridiculous. He's just charging, man. And he does this other move. Like, screw the shockwave, but the, uh, it's like a gravitational move that he does. He pulls you in. Oh my god. Like, his second phase, like. At first, I think at this level, I wasn't even that strong at this level. I was maybe. I wanna say 90 going into this fight. Those uh, golden wings and all those can one shot to a foot. So if you're not careful, like, he, like, then can't one shot you in this second phase. I came close, like, the, like, my, I don't know, like, one of my chances of fighting him, I came really close to just the katana. Uh, because the beat effect is really OP in this game. Oh, Jesus. And then, one shot. So as you can see, Jogging Rahat is working and just about dead and goodbye my dad. Which is a really cool boss fight to be honest with you.
then if you go to like the, the circle table one that got his eyes uh, armor so this is like in the future videos and you see me how i got his armor i beat him and i just got his armor um it was a hell of a tough boss though like it literally took me like a day to beat to beat him and i just had to use a cheese method <laughs> i hated using that method um but every time i got close like, he would just one shot me like no like, no issue no problems So this is like what when you beat like a main boss, you come to her and get their armor sets and their swords and everything too. So uh, this is where you go if, uh, if you beat like the main main bosses. But the only thing, like my whole thing with Elden Ring is... Uh, I feel like you do a whole lot and you get a whole little with the room. So I have to tell what she's talking about. The order has taken its tour across the realm. Life lies in ruin, falling to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabated. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act, brave tarnished. Your great room is a handsome, sharp. I was actually stuck on the, uh, this uh, Dragonic uh, Tree Sentinel for a little while, but I had a trick to actually beat it. Um, I think I uploaded it on YouTube already, but it's a little trick. It's a dragon out trick as well. I should be confused on that I meant to dodge there, but normally in the opening fight of it, you can actually get the two off right from the dead. I actually get the uh, Scarlet Rock. Because this dude is really cool. I just caught shooting fire blasts, dude. What is going on here? So literally, like, the Scarlet Rock in this game is, like, so freaking OP. Like, if you are struggling with a boss, just use the Scarlet Rock technique. Literally, it... And if you beat the dragon, uh, it's a dragon by the church where you get the, uh, the, I, I call it the dragon with high breath, I don't know it's like high breath, but, uh, that move is so OP. This is the, I hate when he gets down the boss now. When his arm goes down, that's when you're gonna dodge it. You don't wanna wait, because you'll get hit regardless. This yeah, man. No, no! Good. I don't understand, uh, why does he need the lightning, bro? Why? So literally, when his arm goes down, just dodge. I don't understand how that hit. I really don't. So, when his health is out, I don't like when he gets close, I don't have to be afraid to attack him. Like, that's simply the dodge now. Once the arm goes down, he just dodge. 
Um, I said that my son is hated to distract him. Which way? <laughs> he goes crazy. Um, I do manage to get up uh, the two here. Which I tried to, I forgot to have him. Here we go. One, two, three, two, three, 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 three. Watch out for the horse. And then next to you now is just playing the game. Really I can't imagine if you use magic in this game, it's way easier. I know I'm using uh, what is it, like, incantation, but like, regular magic is stupid in this game. Dragon Rush is stupid, okay. That's the fucking Dragon Rush is not about. What the hell are you saying? <laughs> to progress to the uh, capital, you have to beat them. There's no way I found to get inside uh, without beating him. So he basically guards the capital. You have to beat him to get inside. And another thing I didn't know, you have to beat other uh, greater souls to actually progress into the city as well. So not only do you have to beat him, you gotta, I had to actually turn back and go back into the uh, the castle in the beginning of the game after you beat the first main boss and uh I, this is the part right here i beat him um This boss right here. Um, I didn't really find him all that hard to be honest. I thought, I honestly thought that the first main boss was kind of easy. But he's coming to the top, it's actually harder to do. Um, but this dude is just anticipation. I hate him for it. <laughs> Without, um, like, I wish I had a kind of hybrid option to this boss fight, but it was just. I don't know, I didn't really feel like it was all that tough. Like, three, the uh, R2 attacks basically stunned me. I'm gonna record him next time I play this game. But uh, I just wanted to show you what I was like to this game. So, uh, but I didn't want to show, I, I really feel like it's better off to stream this game than like, at least like the static video is like where I went for this, I went for that, like it's just like if I can find something like that can help people out, I'll put it on the thing. But I didn't even really find this boss too long, uh, too too hard. I guess maybe I'm a little bit open level. Um I think by this point to me I was level one for a charge one. Which I don't understand is like how the hell does your like your hand turn into a dragon and it can breathe fire? Like, what sense does that even make? 
truest of dragons. <laughs> Lend me thy strength. Sense. How the hell you take a dragon's head off his head? That like you decapitate a dragon, you take his head off, and now it's your arm. What sense? So, um, after you do this bonfire, if you stick around here, um, an NPC comes out and he does talk. And I just beat this guy. Beat that guy. And then, um, here is when we fight, uh... What the was that thing? Is it, uh, Morg... Morgat? I think... It's been a lot of boss fights. Um... So, I, I think, like, a lot of people would try to do... <laughs> I was trying to... I was laughing, because, like, a lot of people was trying to, like, do the run and jump to fight a boss without, uh, initiating him. Which I thought still was funny. But, um, yeah, I summon her, which I didn't even know she could help you in this boss fight. Um, easy. So there's an, another boss you could choose with the, uh, Scarlet Rot. Like, you don't have to get close, it's a cloud, it goes towards the people. Two times, any boss, they get Scarlet Rod. Which, you know, he's a third time, but I didn't know what it should be actually did. I just go in there, start attack. Number 3R2, uh, instantly stuns him. Actually, I'll get to the stronger though, uh, maybe like my next one, 3 r But, um, this guy here was a beast. Um, his move is just like, um, uh, more guys that you fight, like, the first main boss you fight in the game. Uh, his move is just like his, but a little bit more, like, first and he actually has a bleed effect in that, uh, of that sword that he can use on you, so you gotta be careful of that. Um, I just hate the delayed attacks, like, when they're about to hit you, it's just it's like, oh, no, I'm gonna hit you, already. That move there, and it's just a bit of knowing. Don't let it build up. 
at that point I thought I was dead to be honest, that's why I stood there for a second. Good guy. This point is I just go on my game. Yeah, I had plenty of time. I didn't even think I just went in. Like, I got you now. They see they're gonna be you as long as me. Say they're gonna be you and me, that's it. So it didn't take me that much that long to actually beat them. It took me maybe five attempts to actually beat them. Because the first two attempts, like the first three attempts is really like if you get them, you get them. But uh that's the feeling out process for a boss. Grab my stuff, which was zero. Then um uh, I was like, wait, where's the grace point here? I broke it. I, I didn't mean to break that. So I was just reading some people's messages. Like, wait, there's no grace for it. <laughs> I need to heal. So, I almost... so to actually get the uh, point of grace, you have to run up here, um, basically interact with the, the door. So I guess this is where like the, the final boss is actually going to be after you get the uh, the other uh, souls. I guess you call them runes, great runes. Which I feel like this game kind of cheats you out on the ruins. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, I feel like they give you a whole lot more of bosses that you beat. Like I remember like the like Dark Souls games and whatnot. Like you get a whole bunch by actually like beating some of the bosses. But this one, you get like a thousand from being like a sub boss. Like what's up with that? So you get this dialogue with her, with her right now. Hello again. Old friend, allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable, a husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose. So Actually, the next part of my release for the game might be the end. Who knows? So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. So you get them, uh, you get them a dying card, which you have to basically uh, get you access to go to the other side of the map. Which this this game has one of the biggest like maps in any Soulsborne game. I don't understand. That's that's my level that I was at right here. Your thoughts. I wish to journey with you once more to the flame of ruin. That's that, a level, um, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a blast playing this game. Like you know BS. Yes, I've been having a lot of like fun you. with this. Down the path to becoming Elden Lord. It's kinda like uh Skyrim meets Dark Souls. So from here, um I kind of just want to backtrack from here. You don't have to, like, just backtrack. So you have to go up there. Let's 
getting up there was it's easy. All you have to do is really is just backtrack. So the, the stair, just go down the stairs, go back down, and literally so the door that you went through is the same door you go through again to uh, get to uh, the next area. I'm like, hold on, hey, hey, I think the pod's about to come right now. But you're gonna request that bridge was type tough because I wish I could use my horse on that bridge, and that make no sense why you couldn't. You have like two enemies down there on horses, you can't even use a horse. So be careful here. So I wasn't sure if it was going to the lift or what. So uh, I seen an opening one outside, and what should happen? I'm like, is it a grace point anyway? So, so I can save my progress? Because if you die here, it's like you have to go all the way back to, uh, to in the city. And the city honestly reminds me of Air Alondo. Dark Souls. And this happens, I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm thinking like it's a flashback or something like that's happening and out of nowhere, two bosses, what is going on? So I wasn't even prepared for this, so instantly summon the wolves. Got some scarlet rock going. You start staggering me. That's the one thing is when you're not prepared for a boss fight. Like if you see like the boss fight, me, it's kind of loud right after when we film or something. But these dudes just take like two hits to start with. It wasn't that bad. Um, I just was gonna hit my stupid thing. It was the thing I should have just dodged when I wasn't like, on my A game. Second do the shooting thing. I'm just like, okay. I'm telling you, I saw that's gonna be I still move in the game. Until they probably nerf it if anything. Which might happen, who knows? But it's not a lot. Super OP. I'm getting hit by this stuff. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Oh. So I have literally nothing left. So all I have is a sword and a dream. I get hit by stupid stuff, like stuff I should have known to dodge. So right now in the game, I am actually on the mountain, the giant's, uh, giant's mountain, I think it's called. I just got there. Um, didn't find any bosses yet. Anybody knows where to find like the stopper and um, the stopper and the stones? Just let me know. I've been struggling trying to find these things. So on this like when I'm about to die, let it legit, my strategy is just be aggressive. But um that's gonna do it for this part guys. Uh thanks for watching. This is what I've been up to on uh Elder Ring so far. So uh thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed watching, and I'm definitely gonna be back with another part. Might be the ending, uh, or might be another boss rush, who knows? But, um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, later, stay safe.